we are continuing our Marvel Marathon Madness with 2003 Daredevil, a film about the lawyer turned vigilante. Attorney Matt Murdock is blind, but his other four senses function with superhuman perception, and he employs those powers to change his city for the better. By day, Matt represents the exploited in the court of law. At night, however, he is Daredevil, an unyielding vigilante and avenger of righteousness. So, let us go ahead and jump straight into the plot. As a child, Matt Murdock was blinded by radioactive waste shortly after witnessing his father, washed up boxer Jack the Devil Murdock, extorting money for local mob boss Eddie Fallon. While he did lose his sight, Matt's remaining senses were enhanced, giving him superhuman agility and sonar-like hearing. Feeling responsible for his son's accident, Jack abandons his life of crime and recommits to his boxing career leading to a dramatic comeback. However, after Fallon reveals that he enabled Jax's comeback by bribing his previous opponents to let him win, he attempts to bribe Jack as well to throw his next match and has him murdered once he refuses. Years later, Matt's day job is as an attorney in Hell's Kitchen with his friend Franklin Foggy Nelson, providing legal representation pro bono to clients whom he believes are innocent. By night, however, Matt fights crime as the costumed vigilante Daredevil. Ben Urich, a reporter who chronicles Daredevil's exploits, attracts attention for a series of articles on the Kingpin, an underworld figure who allegedly controls all of New York's organized crime. Now, unbeknownst to Urich, the Kingpin is Wilson Fisk, a brutal mobster who possesses as a legitimate businessman. Later on, Matt meets Elektra, a woman skilled in martial arts, unaware that she is actually the daughter of Fisk's lieutenant Nicholas Nachios. Later, when Nachios attempts to end his relationship with Fisk, Fisk hires Bullseye, a headman with superhuman aim, to kill him. Bullseye then steals Daredevil's baton and impales Nachios with it, killing him and framing Daredevil in the process. Afterwards, Yurik deduces that Matt is Daredevil after realizing that he disguises his batons as a white cane. Believing Daredevil to be responsible for the murder, Elektra gears up to take revenge. Meanwhile, Fisk assigns Bullseye to kill Elektra, who tracks Daredevil down and challenges him to a fight before incapacitating him by stabbing him through the shoulder. Daredevil then tells her he did not kill her father, but Elektra does not listen until she unmasks him and realizes it is Matt. Moments later, when Bullseye tracks them down, Matt watches helplessly as Bullseye kills her. Wounded, Matt takes refuge in a church, but Bullseye ambushes him by exploiting his weakness to loud sounds. When the police swarm the church, Bullseye reveals that Kingpin killed Matt's father and left behind a rose as a calling card of sort. Matt then gains the upper hand and throws Bullseye from the tower after an NYPD sniper shoots him through both his hands, depriving him of his powerful aim. Determined to avenge Elektra and his father, Matt ambushes Fisk in his office. In the ensuing fight, he ultimately triumphs against Fisk's brute strength by using his sonar hearing to see Fisk after he is drenched in water by the fire suppression sprinkler system. During their confrontation, Fisk admits that he did kill Jack on Fallon's orders and that Elektra's death was nothing but a casualty. As the police arrive to arrest Fisk, he threatens to reveal Daredevil's identity to the world, but Matt points out that no one will ever believe that Daredevil is a blind man. Sometime after Elektra's death, Matt visits the roof of his apartment where the two of them first kissed, and unexpectedly finds Elektra's necklace with her name engraved upon it in braille, hinting that she might still be alive. Eric prepares to publish an article revealing Daredevil's identity, but decides against it at the last minute, finally accepting that Daredevil's efforts have helped the city. He exits his office into the night outside and sees Matt on the rooftop, saying, go get him, Matt, to which Daredevil nods his head and takes off, leaping off the building to pursue his nightly crime-fighting routine. In the final scene, we see a wounded bullseye waking up in a heavily guarded hospital room aiming at and killing a fly with a syringe needle. Now, this was an interesting representation of the titular Marvel hero. Apart from one 
very cringy, dense battle scene, the movie is quite entertaining, although it does not make a whole lot of sense, even in the superhero genre. Daredevil is an incredible character, and unfortunately, the film does not manage to fully bring him to life in a worthy manner that befits this hero. The writers tried to condense a lot of lore from the comics into this one film, and it shows that they were over their heads with that task while the director employed elements from other films to try to bring this story to life, but to no avail. However, for more of its banalities, it was still a fun film overall, and the violence was quite befitting the tales of Hell's Kitchen. So a 5 out of 10 is apt here. Now, the next video I will cover is 2005 Electra, and following that will be 2004 The Punisher. So stay tuned, and please, do consider the, hitting the like button and subscribing. I would truly, truly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for spending your time with me. Until our next adventure, y'all stay classy.